Ampi professor John Zaborny is putting the final touches on the index of his new book, Slaves for Hire, Renting Enslaved Laborers in Antebellum, Virginia. Zaborny says the book factually overturns widely thought beliefs about traditional slavery. I talk to people, they're more familiar with the idea of selling slaves and buying slaves, but the renting of slaves, people say, oh, I didn't know they did that. And so it, it's this whole unknown aspect of slavery in the South. Uh, but yet it was very, very widespread, um, and it just seemed very interesting to me. Uh, nothing had really been done on almost nothing had been done on it in terms of research. So Zaborny embarked on filling the gaps where there were many. He traveled to Virginia and North Carolina on a fact-finding mission, gathering historical documents and evidence renting slaves existed. Zaborny finally sat down to write of all he found and learned putting together a vast manuscript he then sent to publishers at the Louisiana State University Press. They, in turn, jumped at the chance to publish it. They're interested in books which, uh, in one way or another, go against the grain. This is a great model for our students uh, to see somebody have a research project, complete the research project, the perseverance that it takes to carry through on a project like this. Jeff Roberts is a Fort Fairfield teacher and local Civil War historian and says the book will be a great read because more people, especially young people, need to understand the link between slavery and the Civil War and its impact on America today. Acceptance, forgiveness, tolerance, uh, the fact is we're all Americans. And although the book isn't available to the public until October, he's already working on a sequel. Average ordinary white people in the South, in other words, the people, one of the things that, the idea comes from this, because one of the things that comes from the study of slave hiring is to realize that it involved so, so many white people society-wide who didn't own slaves, who weren't wealthy. For more information about Zaborny's book, you can contact the Umpy Press Office at 764-9447. Sean Cunningham, News Source 8.